loves the yeah, imperfection. They've written about probably four or three years ago, I suppose, and every time I've seen Luke since, which is a fair bit, he goes, have you worked on our song yet? Have you worked on our song yet? And I did actually work on it the other day. Yeah. But not enough to play it. It's not quite right. right. Yeah. It's just one of those things that's taken time to, to perfect, you know, so maturing over yeah. time. The idea, folks, was... Um, um, very good. <laughs> Now the idea was, uh, you never know where uh, you know life's going to take you. You can you can be driving your car, and you can pull up at a stop sign, you can go that way, you can go that way, and depending on which way you go, your life could totally change. And um, so much so that my grandparents uh, were affected by World War Two, and they were displaced. They ended up in Germany from Poland, and they ended up in Australia. And then my dad was born in Australia. And then in 19, uh, probably 70, probably three, he met my mum. And then my sister was born, and then I was born. And it's because, you know, Hitler did those things. He created a crazy thing. And that's what the story was about. Like, he said, you're the perfect imperfection. Like, you, you, you are created because of a bad situation. And people, a lot of people don't think about that, but there's probably tens of thousands of people that are, that are born due to being displaced persons through the war. It's just, you don't think about that. We just get up and mine and, and eat our toast and we try and make a dollar. Mm. That's it. It's a story. And, and I'm not going to play with the song because I don't know how it goes. Mm. <laughs> oh, come on, I'll do a bit. I'm going to do this other song, but... Um, and the, the actual co-writer of this song was in the room earlier, so if, if word gets out that I'm playing it, she's gone, I'm going to be dead. But I'm already standing in a, standing in a cemetery, so... Yeah. <laughs> For those who, who didn't hear the story earlier, while well, we actually got a cemetery backdrop, it was at midnight last night, they had the murder ballads in this room. And uh, yeah, that's why we, we normally have a, a really cheerful backdrop. I thought it was a bit of a goth thing. Yeah. Though, I don't know. <laughs> Aiming for cool creed or something. Yeah, there you go, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so the story of this song, folks, um, it's a, in the cemetery. a few places around the world, people will buy padlocks and they walk up to the bridge and put the padlock on and pull the key out, throw it in the river to, to lock away their love. That's what they do. Uh, I've never done it. No. no. I've got a thousand keys out in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a key to a door in every town in Australia. Everywhere he goes, he collects a key just to catch me. He's got to find somewhere to sleep, mate. It's important. So much so that every year or two, the council comes along with the bolt, bolt cutters, bolt cutters, whatever you want to call them. They cut them all off and probably chuck them in the river too. They chuck everything else in the river in Paris and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, I wrote this song with Sarah, who was who was over there. She's gone. I'm going to live stream it, mate. So. We <laughs> so <all> should. <laughs> I've never done this live, really, but um, I've been working on a sheep station, folks, and the sheep uh, sheep have been my audience for about six weeks, and uh, <laughs> they don't seem to mind. It's because they like you. I was thinking I was cracking a brain for a sheep joke. Oh, 